you and uh, we're getting ready to go sledding actually so no I'm not getting ready to go deep sea diving this is uh, my equipment I'm going to be putting on and he's outside right now getting the trailer ready and the sleds ready um, so he's all excited so hardworking. there's my hard working guy out there getting stuff ready so we'll get some footage and take some nice uh, videos and uh, plug them all together and I'll share with you my snowmobiling experience which I love very much. Okay, so we stopped at the Swamp Shack. There were some people here that we know that we visited with. So, uh, where's the thing to turn the... I got a new phone, I'm still figuring it out. So turn it around so it faces uh, the other way. I don't know if we can do that once we're set. Hmm. Oh, great. That's great. So you just turn. So... There's the sleds, there's the shack, and when I do my next installment of Lisa's Outhouse Reviews, I will tell you that the outhouse here is the shining gem gold star of outhouses, uh, and that's because the ladies in the snowmobiling club helped design it, so no big shock right there. Welcome back to Lisa's Outhouse Tour. This is Outhouse number two at the Cowan Trail Shack. Uh, this one, a little nicer on the outside with the half moon carving in there. However, no toilet paper and the styrofoam seat looks like it's been eaten by rats. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna give it six out of 10. Uh, yeah, still haven't found the perfect one yet. But we'll keep searching. So, we're going to carry on. You ready, babe? You ready? You ready. ready to continue on to Carberry? Well, and Carberry we go. machines over there. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys in a bit.
We're at the Mecca of the buffet at the Sand Hills Casino. There's my guy enjoying his dinner. Hi everybody. I hope you enjoyed my second vlog uh, sharing the experience of snowmobiling with uh, Russ and myself. Uh, I have to apologize for the excess noise at the beginning of the video when I was talking. Uh, we have learned the hard way that you cannot film and vlog when the GoPro is in the GoPro super suit. So it's the protective case that uh, I wear or put it into when I have it on my snowmobile helmet. Uh, does not like it when you move it around and I had it in my my little uh, stick and I was videoing with that so that's why it was a little bit noisier so I apologize for that won't make that mistake again uh, also learned that we have to film videos on our phones this way instead of this way uh, so that you don't have the wide black bands on either side so it's been fun figuring that out still haven't figured out how to turn the screen around when I'm in the middle of uh, videoing myself on my on my iPhone still have to figure that out um, and uh, I will tell you that uh, I tolerated the snowmobile ride really well. Uh, was a little stiff and sore, but not too bad. Took some Advil, took care of that. So I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that I'm going to be able to uh, do more sledding this winter, which, which makes me happy. I enjoy it very much. Also want to give a shout out to the Sprucewood Snow Drifters. That's our local Brandon club for snowmobiling and they are responsible for grooming the trails and having them signed. So if any of you watching out there, you know, snowmobile or ride trails or are interested in it, um, I would really encourage you to become part of a club. Um, I'll get Russ to put the link on here when he's when he's editing it to their website. It takes it takes a lot of people to make that happen and we wouldn't have groomed trails if it wasn't for snowmobile clubs. So thank you Sprucewood Snow Drifters. We enjoyed the trails. I know they're not all open yet. And uh, for some of you wondering, um, when I talked about uh, getting some directions from the director, my husband Russ, uh, we have communicators in our helmets so we're actually able to talk to each other uh, while we're riding, uh, which is actually a really nice feature because if there's some kind of thing that he wants me to watch out for, a big dip uh, or a rock or something like that on the trail, he can tell me and uh, I can hear what he's saying. So uh, he was giving some direction there for that one shot. Uh, you might be able to faintly hear him coming through my helmet and I'm talking. So no, I wasn't talking to myself. I was talking to Russ. So thanks everyone for joining in to this second vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and um, stay tuned for the next one. And remember, you guys stay busy living just like I am and I hope you enjoyed the ride. Have a great day and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. My hubby plays this fashionista one that when he gets three spins, it plays this music. Hey, honey. Oh. Oh, you got a win there. <laughs> He'll never admit to the guy that's playing fashionista, but he is. <laughs> Love it.